This is also for the children. Maybe we can run by it and sneak in and be part of the the group. Yeah, this looks looks about right. Give us a little bit of love. Oh, nobody's even here. Just a bunch of little brass blade lollafells. That's not good. <laughs> So they always have this timer that kind of goes against this big thing, and I'm wondering if there's some uh, some fates that are designed to not be able to fail, because there are the brass blades here that are kind of taking care of business. So I'm trying to wonder, what is the balance between fates that can have upward to like 50 people wailing on some guy, versus fates that only have like, well, there's really only me right here right now. So how do you how do you allow the uh, player to not fail if they're alone in a fate? Maybe part of it's like if these guys die, then yeah. they're helping a lot though. So they're making it a lot easier. If I were alone, or if I weren't alone. This would be a lot harder. Maybe they up the difficulty and add more imps the more people that join, join in. That makes sense, and that's how I would do it, so... Oh, those guys are fast. You guys are getting into trouble. Oh, these guys would also help me if I were, like, healing, and I didn't necessarily have the ability to take on one-on-one -on -one imps if they were at my same level. Then I could heal these guys to help me out instead. Maybe? They seem to be helping me a lot. Okay, looks like we've got about two more imps left. Nobody showed up. Oh! Nope, we've got uh, Cecilia Arnwan here. Arnwan? There we go! Donka Donka, thank you much. Anyway... Deep in the heart of spaghetti... Not sure, maybe I did notice there were a few more imps once Arn1 showed up, Cecilia. Louis Lucifer, you're mostly devil! Almost there. The weird thing is there's like a million entrances to Camp Drybone, as in you can just jump in from the top or go in through the sides or multiple different ways, but to get out is so difficult. It is a maze to exit. Hey y'all. How's it going, killer? Lady killer. Searching for the mementos of orphans? Risking her own well-being in the doing, no less. Yeah, Thencrode's kind of a dick. Oh, we get some nice... Could use some nicer boots. Uh, there they are. Goatskin light guards. Oh, wow! Yeah, I uh, see, uh, see you're sporting the fashion as well, Matsoku. Senior Sky. I'm all ja in all the wrong places. Oh, this is taking us to a weird spot. South now! Just sending us everywhere. I don't think this will let me get out of the town, actually. Dang it! The other way that will, though. Like I said. Hard to get out of the town. Easy to get in. Also, there are nanny goats everywhere, and they're super cute. You've got billy goats and nanny goats. What is this one? 
Okay, so they're fighting a bunch of little what's its. Also, there's ponds here. I've been fishing in the ponds. And they are filled with fish, surprisingly enough. <laughs> Actually, uh, because it was so innocuous, I mistook the pond immediately. And I was looking around for places to fish on the coasts and stuff. I'm looking for rivers and the usual suspects. And I was like inside this pond, like looking on my map, ankles deep in fish. Because I'm an idiot. Thancred, you got some splaining to do. You uh, were super suspicious about Orson for no reason. Though I'm still suspicious of Orson. Whilst following Sister Orson near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amalja caught my eye. I tracked them as far as this encampment, but, well, let us say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, means uh, brings me to why I request you! Would you go in for me? Because I'm a big sissy boy! Big sissy boy! Eh. Ever. Hello? We're gonna raid the Amalja encampment, searching for a clue! Looking for a big blue paw print somewhere on the ground. Oh! There's a lot of you fellows. Sorry, coming through. Just an adventurer needing to get to a single spot in the back of your guys' camp. You know, it'd be cool if you guys could bring your... Bring the clue to me. I won't have to kill as many of you. Just, it would be a lot less paperwork for all of us, really. Hey, I just spirit bonded with the pair of decorated bronze mitt gauntlets. Whether I want a spirit gun. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to spirit bond with those absolutely hideous, like, puppet gloves. Hey ho, I was here earlier, there was a fate in here, but... Sup? Just coming for the leaflet, y'all. Thanks. Peace. And they never even noticed. Got your stupid note, you weenie. What kind of adventurer is he? Anything tickle your fancy? You wish. Bastard. See the wealth of Null to the hands of your children. Looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. The lettering, though, atrocious, is it not? And these bits about Naldthal seem somewhat less studied. Less than studied, I find it hard to believe one among the Order penned this. What an ass! Pray take this to the inn at Camp Drybone. Let us see what Sister Orson makes of it. So he didn't like the handwriting or the grammar. But it is a note about giving work to the poor. So what the hell are we doing? <laughs> I feel like we are making a huge mess out of things that we don't necessarily need to make a mess out of. I just killed three Am Amalja for a note that says, let's give work to the poor. Oh man, are the, uh, are the Amalja working together with Sister Orson to bring the poor out of their destitute state? Are they trying to revitalize an economy with terrible grammar? The fiends. <laughs> oh, are we... You're not by the crystal right now? Oh, we're Orson, not Isambard. Where is... Oh, there we go. Where's my sister at? Way up there, of course. Where 
Where the deuce? Okay, maybe it's not above. Maybe it's underneath? Well, it must be. Can't have dry bonus. Three tiers of stupid. What's up? Bye. No. Maybe in here? I'm just gonna barge into your room. Lambertiant. Oh! Jeez! What's up, dude? How's it going? Looks like we got a little bit of lag again. Glad to see you're uh, kind of up on your feet and not a murderer. I have a, a queer leaflet. I'm not so sure what is queer about it except that Thancred reads it that way. What is this? Blasphemous! These are not teachings at all! This was not made by any true brother or sister of the Order of that, I can assure you. Okay, so they're saying it's forged. Come to think of it, weeks ago the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the Order to deceive the people? Okay, so... Things make a little more sense now. If people are trying to... F someone within the Order is trying to frame people of the order of doing bad things. Our culprit pretends to be a priest to lend credence to his description, deception, and so Orson was target number one. There's no no doubt an irony is in there somewhere. You're supposed to be helping the people, but you're a fake. How can I even know if your religion is real? That would actually put a lot of questions into... All right, Eisenborg. Got your thingamajigger. Still kind of thinking you're the dude. Posing as a priest to think. <laughs> These are troubling times. I patch. I patch. I patch. I patch. Goat skin. I patch. Red eye patch. Hot damn! Now <laughs> we are the red eye. Dressed to impress. Oh, if it is that. Okay. Let's go get us some false priests. Nor have any at this camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit, and soon, the more innocents will fall victim. Hey, you! Can I kill you yet? Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets, bearing false promises to lure the poor. Let Shaban and me serve like the like, like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor. You'd like that, Thancred, wouldn't you? I have to say, I'm way too much of a diva for this mission. Next to useless in battle, but I can supply clothing! Makeovers! So as to lay the foundation of our little ploy, we must make it widely known that more vagrants have arrived at camp and are desperate for coin. So we're lying to them. A lot of these guys are poor as it is. And we're telling them there's gonna be more poor... I don't see how our... This is... This is lots of bad. Okay, speak with locals while garbed in a weathered shepherd's tunic. There's a weathered shepherd's tunic. Yeah, that looks... Uh, is there more to this? These things are still locked. Maybe I'm not allowed to wear anything else. Oh, and a pair of weathered shepherd slops. Which I think are shoes?
There we go. They're barely pants. Yep, I look pretty poor now. You can tell by the eye patch and big purple gloves. And from seeing lots of poor people in my time.